This is the type of uh, percent problem that does give a lot of people trouble. What they're looking for as an answer to this type of problem is a percent. Your answer needs to be a percent. And they give you two numbers. So the first number that's normally given, in this situation 24, 24 is what percent of 32? We're going to make this into a fraction or a division problem. So I'm going to make it into a fraction first to show that to you. 24 is what percent of 32? That's all you need to do in that situation, just like that. And then what we're going to do is divide. When you have a fraction and you want to turn it into a division problem, this number right here goes on the inside of the division problem, and this number goes on the outside. This is called the dividend, and this is called the divisor. So I'm going to do, let's go ahead and get this out of the way here. I am going to do, let's put it back, 24 divided by 32. This is one possible way of doing this problem. Now I'm going to put some zeros on there because 32 does not go into 24, but it does go into 240. How many times would it go into 240? Well, I'm thinking about maybe 7. Let's try that. 32, just guess and check. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. That's 21 plus 1 is 22. 224, 240, that's pretty close. So I'm going to put the 7 right here, write 224, subtract, and I'm going to have to regroup. 10 minus 4 is 6, 3 minus 2 is 1. So I get a leftover of 16, and then I'm going to bring down another 0. Now I'm doing 160 divided by 32. Uh, let me see, how about say five times, what would that be here? 32 times five, two times five is 10, carry the one, three times five is one plus one is 16, hey, there it is. So it goes in evenly five times, and we get nothing as a remainder. If you did get a remainder, you could put another zero, bring that down, and just keep right on going until your decimal finally ends, until your answer has no remainder, or you have to stop at some point in time and round your answer to a, a nearest place that you are asked for. But in this situation, it goes in nice, nicely into the hundredths place, so the answer is 0.75 as a decimal. Now, how are we going to change this into a percent? You just move the decimal point over two spots right there, and that's equal to 75% as my final answer. Now, there is another way to do this type of a problem. That will work, what I just showed you right there, that will work on just about any problem, pretty much, uh, for this type of a, a question. However, this one could be done a little bit simpler. I can actually change this into a fraction out of 100, because percent means out of 100, per cent, per 100, out of 100. Well, to change this into a fraction out of 100, 32 to 100, I can't multiply 32 times some even number and get 100. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to simplify this fraction and make it as small of terms as I possibly can. Well, what number can I divide 24 by that I can also divide 32 by? I can divide both of these by 8. So 24 divided by 8 is 3. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now I'm in position to go ahead and change this into a fraction out of 100. 4 times 25 is 100, 3 times 25 is 75, 75 out of 100 is the same thing as 75%. Let me show you one that's like this that's much simpler. Let's say they give you 3 is what percent of 5? 3 is what percent of 5 is real simple to change to a percent because I can just do 5 times 20 is 100, so I multiply the 3 times 20 is 60. You're always going to put 100 down here as your denominator because, again, percent means out of 100.